Shalom, Shalom, Yasharallah. This is Brother Yahweh Nah with the Flame and Fire of Israel. I want to start off giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Wamalak Yahweh Shah. I'm going to touch on this, um, this Notre Dame Cathedral fire. And we're going to tell you at the end, you're going to know who exactly done this fire. How did it take place? All right. And how did this happen to such an iconic building in the world, in the eyes of the world? Right. So we're going to go ahead and get out the um, video. Right, and it's burning down to the ground. These buildings are made not to burn like this, man. They're made to be sturdy. They're made to be almost built out of cement blocks. So there's no, it's no it, these buildings aren't made to burn like this, man. All right. She's coming down, man. She's coming down, man. Right, and they they get fire at the bottom of the building. They're not. They don't know how to put this fire out. Here come the elite. It's burning down, man. All right. It's burning all the way down. It's, it's burning down. And, and they really ain't going to be able to stop it, man. All right. So look. So let's go ahead and show you how this happened. All right. The first verse I want to get is Psalms chapter 148, verse 8. Fire and hell, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word. Right. So this fire. What you see, fire and hell and snow and vapor and stormy winds, all these things fulfill the word of the Lord, man. The Lord does all these things, man. There's not one single thing that the Lord doesn't do, man. All right? The Lord ordained this to happen, man. All right? Because a lot of our, our people in the northern kingdom especially, they're raised up Catholics, man. All right? They're raised up in this, as this being the pinnacle in their life, thinking this is the truth, man. But the Lord showing you to come home and come to this truth and to leave this Catholic church alone, man. Because it's nothing but lies. And these, and these Catholic churches, they're known for rapists. They're known for these priests being rapists. And they rape little boys. And it's look, it's all coming to pass, man. And every single one of their lies is coming to light, man. All right? And the Lord's telling, the Lord's just giving them a glimpse of the future. All right? Let's get Jeremiah 23. All right, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, right? Saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against ye pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them, visited them, right? Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. So the Lord is going to eventually visit upon them the evil of their doings. And the Lord's just giving them a glimpse of what, what's going to come to pass, man. All right, the Lord's visiting upon them the evil of their doings, man. How they destroyed God's chosen people. How they got God's chosen people thinking that they're Catholics and Catholic isn't in the Bible, man. All right, when they're really Israelites, when they're destroying the so-called African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right, verse three. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries whither I have driven them and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, said the Lord. So the Lord's going to feed us with that real knowledge, man. He's going to set up shepherds over us that will feed us with knowledge and understanding, man. All right? And we won't be dismayed at Christianity and Catholic, Catholic, uh, uh, Catholic churches and Islam. All right? And we're going to have Yahweh Shah ruling over us eventually, man. All right? When he get when he when he's in rule, all right. So um, you know that it's just the Lord's just showing them a glimpse of what's coming to pass, and the Lord is executing righteous judgment against these nations, man. Um, let me get um, Amos three. All right, Amos chapter three verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in a city, and the Lord? And I'm just locking. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So the Lord does all the evil things, man. The Lord executes judgment with fire. All right. 
The Lord has angels set in place to execute judgment with fire and his word, and they will not transgress his word, man. All right? And, it, and, it, and it's a classic precept right here, Isaiah 45 and 7. All right? All right? I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So the Lord does all the peace. He and he does all the evil. He formed the he formed the light and he created the darkness of this world. When really that light goes into Yahweh Shah, and he made and he made the darkness of this world, the, the wickedness of this world, the things that uh is ruling right now. All right. When you go to Romans 13, 11, the Lord says, let's go, let's get it real quick. All right. And that knowing the time, but now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. So now knowing these times, seeing these churches getting burned down, then now it's high time for our people to wake out of sleep, because our salvation is nearer than what we believe. The night is far spent. That night is the darkness, man. All right, and the day is at hand. The day is that light that the Lord has created, man. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, uh, being a Catholic, being in this Christianity, all right, being in um Islam, and come serve the Lord your God, you so-called African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, and let us put on the armor of light, right, walking in His commandments. Proverbs six and twenty three says, "The law is the light, and the commandment is a lamp," right? Pro roughly paraphrasing, right? Let us walk honestly as in the day and not rioting in drunkenness, not in chambering and one times, not in strife and envy. Right? So that drunkenness also goes into being drunk with this world, man. All right? But I don't want to get too off. I just want to show that point. All right? So come on. Now let's go to um, um, Malachi chapter 1 verse 4. All right? Classic precept. All right? Where's, all right, we'll start at 1. All right, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Right, the Lord has loved us con continually, but our people, is they, they don't know where the Lord has loved them at, man. All right, the Lord has loved us by putting us into captivity. The Lord has loved us by whipping us. And I did a video not too long ago, and y'all can check it out, about uh, the Lord whipping us so we can get this king. The Lord whipping us to make us better, man. All right. And you know our people that, and then these these Christian these Christian churches is burning down too, man. All right, um, three black churches. This is the New York Times. Three black churches, so called African American churches, have burned in ten days in a single Louisiana parish. Right, so three black churches is burning down, man. These Christian churches are burning down, man. The Lord is showing you this is not where His light is at, man. It's nothing but darkness. So the Lord is burning down these churches. It's no coincidence that these churches are getting burned down also. All right? There's no coincidence, man. These things are coming to pass through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh But our people, they may look at this church burning down, and they might be like, where have you loved us, Lord? You burned down our church. Our church. Right? But the Lord is bringing us the light, man, and showing us where the darkness is. Yet ye say, where has it has in Salaki? Wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I love Jacob, and I hate Esau. Yet the Lord hates the Edomites of the Bible, the so-called white man, right? And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of wilderness, of the, of the wilderness, right? So the, the uh, Esau's eventually, their mountains, their kingdoms, and their heritage is going to be waste, man. All right, and there's going to be no more remaining in the house of Esau. All right, the Lord has a perpetual hatred for them, man. All right? Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build a desolate places, right? Edom wants to rebuild um, Rome, the Roman Empire, all right? The Greek, when the Greeks was Roman, but really Rome. They want to rebuild Rome. They want to rebuild this place. This, and this is a Roman Catholic church, man, all right? This, you got to be able to judge these things in the spirit. This is a Roman Catholic church, and they want to rebuild the desolate places, man. They want to be rebuild the, Rome, the uh, Roman Empire, man. All right, which is why the symbol of America is the eagle. All right, why the architecture uh, resembles Roman and Greek architecture. All right, thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build and I will throw down. Right, I believe they was even making additions to the building. All right, they was trying to add on more to the building. They was trying to make the building look better. But the Lord threw it down through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Yahushua. Right. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. These devils are the border of wickedness, man. 
All right, these Roman Catholic popes and their bishops, they're all the devil that the Bible speaks of. All right? And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. The Lord has indignation against these devils forever, man. All right? Forever and forever and forever. Right? A perpetual hatred, man. All right? So, look, you got to understand, man. They trying to build, but the Lord is throwing down, man. They trying to add on to that building, and the Lord threw it down. And Because the Lord has indignation for them forever, man. All right? So, Con, now let's get Job chapter 4, verse 7. Right? Classic precept. Awesome. All right? Remember, I prayed thee, whoever perished being innocent. Right? Whoever perished being innocent, man. All right? What person, even babies, you don't know who those babies were back on the earth, man. Every baby, everything that perished has never been innocent, man. All the Lord's judgments are righteous, all right? Or where were the righteous cut off, right? Even as, I've, as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. This is what the Roman Catholic Church plows, man. Iniquity and sin, you can do whatever you want to, but you can come and get bathed in the water and have this, this priest... Just dash water on top of you, man. All right, and think that's gonna save you, man. You could you could do whatever you want to, and, and look come come to the back, and you a little boy, and they take and they and they get you back there, man. These old wicked men. All right, right. It, and this has been coming out plenty of times. Our they want to focus on R. Kelly. These 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 devils are way worse than R. Kelly, man. All right. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity is so wickedness reap the same. By the blast of God they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. Right? By the blast of God, these, these people perish, and anything the Lord wants perishes, man. All right? The Lord can perish anything, man. All right? The, by the breath of his nostrils they're consumed, man. All right? That's the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Mashiach, Wama, like Yahweh Shah. All right? So, you know, you, you can't escape it either, man. All right? They can't escape. They build and burn down. They can't escape the things they wanted to get around. All right? Let's get um Sirach, um 16 and um 12. All right? As his mercy is great, so is his correction also. Right? So the Lord has had mercy on us and he's corrected us. Right? He judges a man according to his works. Right? The Lord judges a man, these these other these these other nations too, according to their works. Right? The sinner shall not escape with his spoils, man. These these Catholics, they think they're gonna be able to escape with their spoils, man. They think they're gonna be able to get away with everything they done, man. The Lord says, All our adversaries, every one of them, man, shall go into captivity, man. Right? Um the sinner shall not escape with his spoils, and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. Right? So the sinner is not going to escape with their spoils. They're not going to get away with what they've done. They can try to build their church now. They can try to build it up, but the Lord is going to throw it down. The Lord's showing them the things that's going to come. Right? Verse 14. May for every work of mercy, I mean, so like, make way for every work of mercy, for every man shall find according to his work. So everything you do, the Lord is going to get you for your works, man. All right? And I want to, I was already on this one, but I want to get this one now. This is Sirach chapter 39 and verse 28. All right, come on. All right. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of them that made them. So there are spirits that create. That are created for vengeance, man. The Lord has angels that that rain down vengeance, man. Whenever the Lord commands them to, right? Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance, man. So fire was created for vengeance. Hell was created for vengeance. Famine and death were created for vengeance, man. All right? The, so the Lord is the culprit, man. Everyone, they want to see who did this. How did this happen? The Lord did it, man. Yahweh did that, man. All right, verse 20, verse 30, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. So even wild beasts, you get bit by an animal, the Lord did. A scorpion, a serpent, a snake hit you, you the Lord did that. A sword, you get dashed through, the, the, through your stomach, the Lord did that, man. All right, they shall rejoice in his commandment 
and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. And the Lord had need for, the, for these angels to at least fire upon this building, man. All right? And they're ready for that commandment, man. All right? And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. Right? When it's their time to execute this vengeance, when, it's their, when they get the commandment, they do it, man. And that cuts all that Satan is going against God. Satan does whatever he wants to. Because whenever the Lord has a commandment, these angels left or right side do not transgress the Lord's word. All right? They do what the Lord tells them to do, and they and they ready for when they time to come for, for them to uh, fulfill what the Lord wanted them to do, right? So come on, um, give me I'm gonna get Isaiah twenty nine and six. All right, I'm gonna go back to my um blue letter. All right, Isaiah twenty nine and six. All right, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise. With storm and tempest in the flame of devouring fire, right? So the Lord, this is how the Lord visits visits us, man. This is how the Lord moves, man. When the Lord visiting you, He can visit you with thunder, with earthquakes, with great noise, with storm, and with and, and with the flame of devouring fire, man. All right, that's how the Lord. That's how the Lord moves, man. All right, the Lord can visit you with any one of those things, man. All right. So the Lord is the culprit. The Lord is what done this, man. The Lord does all evil. He does everything, man. All right? So we're going to keep reading. Well, actually, I'm, and, and, and you know, some people might be like, well, maybe a man started this. Maybe it was somebody's fault. Maybe when they was working on the building, maybe somebody um messed up. And maybe how maybe they just messed up on it. And uh, that's why it happened. Let's get Proverbs 20 and 24. All right? Classic precept. All right. All right. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. All right. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Right. So you might, he, he might not even mean to make the mistake, man, or whatever. However, this fire took place, the Lord ordained it to happen, man. All right. Man's goings are of the Lord. A man can't understand why he messed up and it started a fire. Or the, these, these angels execute vengeance, man. And they never miss, they never miss when it's that time to execute vengeance because the Lord put it on them, man. All right? They never miss, man. Um, what was one more precept I wanted to get? Um, hold up, I think it's in Proverbs 2. Um, so like you. It's another precept I want to get. All right, let me see. I be Romans. One last precept. Bear with me, Israel. All right, let's get Romans nine and nineteen. Thou wilt say unto me, Why do he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? Right, who has resisted the Lord's will, man? Right. Who can stop what the Lord is gonna, gonna do? Nay, no one's ever did that, man. Who art thou to re that replies against God? Shall the thing formed it, uh shall the thing formed say to, to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? And this goes into Esau fit for wrath. Esau made, was made for destruction before he'd done anything wrong. All right. But the point I wanted to get, who can resist the Lord's will, man? No one can resist the Lord's will. All right. And it's another precept I want to get. All right. All right. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. That's what I want. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. So every, a man might think, uh, he, he might not even meant to mess up. He might, whatever caused this fire, man, the Lord directed his steps. The Lord directed what to happen. The Lord directed for that building that set on fire, man. The Lord that the Lord directed for these Christian churches to burn down, man. All right. The Lord directed that all, man. All right. How powerful is Yahweh, man? All right. He directed all those things, man. All right. And you got a lot of people they play around with the Lord, man. They don't know the they don't know the power of the Lord, man. Um. Con. So um. I think it might be another precept I want to get. Um. Alright. Uh, 
I said, I don't want that one. I could get that one. I don't want it. Um, hold up one second. Bear with me, Israel. Right. That's what I want. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. Oh, Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Right? So the Lord directs man's steps, man. All right? The Lord can. The Lord does whatever he wants, man. The Lord made that building come to fire no matter what you try to blame it on. The Lord makes any. The Lord makes everything, man. All right? You can try to say man did it or man messed up, but the Lord did it all, man. And the Lord came to these, these churches, Notre Dame Cathedral, with fire. He came to them three black churches with fire, man. All right? Because he... He comes with consuming fire. And this is going to be the last precept I get. Um, Hebrews chapter 12. Oh, we get on the uh, blue letter. Hebrews 12. And um, I believe 29. All right, Hebrews 12 and 29. All right? All right, that's what I want. For our God, for our Yahweh is a consuming fire, man. The Lord is a consuming fire, man. All right? When the Lord sends that head out, it's a wrap, man. All right? Who can who can escape the hands of the Lord, man? All right? And these, and these people, they, they, they reaping what they have sold, man. All right? Let's get it again, man. Right. Look how powerful the Lord is. The Lord is bringing it down, man. All praises to you. How about Shema Mashiach? I'm going to lock you man. All right? Get out of that church, man. The Lord brings it down through the through his angels, man. The Lord commits vengeance, man. All right? All praises to you. How about Shema Mashiach, man? Look how powerful it is. They can't stop with the Lord. Look at these rich Edomites, man. The rich elite, man. They confound it. They can't stop what the Lord wants to do, man. The Lord does whatever he wants, man. All right? And how how oh, oh great is he, man? How great is Yahweh, man? All right? All right? People better recognize how, how powerful the Lord is, man. All right? But, um, you know, hopefully, brothers and sisters, was edified. I didn't want to make it too long. I just want to touch on it. All right? The Lord is the one that does this fire, man. The Lord is the one that does every single thing, man. He he did, he did he ordained the, um, the end from the beginning, man. All right? Come on now. Let's not play with the Lord, man. All right? Um. So with that, we're going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Hamashiach, Wamalak Yahweh All right? And Shalom, Israel, and Kwam Yasharam. All right?